Hi, uh, I'm Lily, and this is Ragas. We're from Meta. Uh, we are building these augmented reality glasses. Um, basically, it's a uh, we're partnered with Epson, so this is a set of Epson glasses with two Pico projectors um, with these uh, slanted prism-like, you know, screens. So it's projecting images onto both prism. Uh, both prisms so that you can see a three-dimensional virtual object in front of you um, overlaid onto your real uh, your real reality. Um, here is this is a soft kinetic camera with uh, depth with depth reception and with a depth camera and also RGB camera um, and that is for tracking your fingers when you are actually um, interacting with uh, so that it knows the location of your fingers when you're interacting with virtual objects. So what Meta is trying to do is create a the first real like cheap and also like super easy to program dev kit where you can, any developer who knows like Java or like C++ or uh, C Sharp can just like program a uh, you know can like think of an augmented reality app they'd like to create where you interact with objects with your hands. So here's an example of a demo that was created in like hours by um, some of our Unity developers. And um, so I'm gonna put on the glasses now and like do the strap. So this is just a proof of concept to show just how easy it is um, to create a demo in just like a couple hours, basically. So why don't you sh So we start over with the first scene of the demo. We have a spinning cube on the screen and Really, you can reach out with your hand and form a fist to grab the cube. And as you move your hand back and forth and bring it closer to your face, it will become a bigger cube and take it far away, it will become a smaller cube. So we're, we're basically projecting into 3D space. So every object in the world has three coordinates instead of two. So it's fully 3D. And if you open your hand up, like your palm, you will end up releasing the cube and it becomes white. So now you're in the keyboard scene. Mm -hmm. Here we have a keyboard and you can type using a finger which swipes it out. So as you can see we have a green marker but unfortunately in these lighting conditions our actual key press doesn't detect all that well. We have a completely virtual screen within the goggles themselves so you can actually do without the laptop completely. Okay, so let's move on to the next scene. So just go into the corner box and yeah. hover there for a couple of seconds. Does it still know where my hand is? It's not yeah, doing so it, when a hand is detected, the arrow on top will like sort of bounce like perfect. So now we're in the movie scene. Here Woo! we call this Minority Report and you have four clips uh -huh. of movies playing here. Woo! So Lily can grab out, reach out and grab any of the movies and then like she did with the cube okay. and then she can pull them closer to her face and then push them away. So pulling them closer actually makes them bigger okay. and How do pushing I grab? them Mm -hmm. So you should be able to grab like that. Uh, so you can actually bring it closer and then when you let it go. Wow. So it, it becomes bigger than the other movies. And Whoa, then you, you, I have... you can grab it again and push it back. 